part 2 Hello friends how are all of you I have had fever for the last few days I checked my fever on a clinical thermometer and the reading was 100 degrees celsius which is approximately 2 degrees higher than the normal reading Do you remember the normal human body temperature The normal human body temperature is 37 degrees celsius or 98.4 degree fahrenheit I'm sure all of you now know about the use of the thermometer but can we measure the temperature of hot water with a clinical thermometer I want to know that why do hot things become cold and cold things become warm Let us look for answers to a few such questions through this story The objectives of this video are 1 to understand about laboratory thermometer 2 to understand how heat flows 3 to understand what are conductors and insulators Ravi drink the milk or it will become cold Mother this milk is still so hot can you please make it cold for me Mother can we measure the temperature of this milk with a clinical thermometer No Ravi it can be dangerous Clinical thermometer is used only to measure body temperature To measure the temperature of water milk or the weather we use the laboratory thermometer You get this hot glass of milk in a bowl of cold water and look it has become cold in some time but look now this water has become warm Does it mean that heat flows from hot object to cold object Yes you are right Ravi heat flows from hot object to cold object Is that the reason my ice cream melted yesterday? Yes, children. Heat flows from a hot material to a cold material. Ravi, I brought your science book back. I have a lot of doubts. I will have to ask the teacher a lot of questions tomorrow. Why? What happened? Why did you not understand? I have doubts in the chapter on heat. Ravi, can you please stir the vegetable on the gas with the spoon? Oh, the spoon is so hot. There is a wooden spoon. Use that. Oh, this wooden spoon did not get hot, but that steel spoon had become so hot. Yes. There is mention on the same in our science book too but what could be the reason for this Ramesh let us do an experiment let us take different objects made up of different materials then let us dip them in hot water one by one let us then observe what happens to each object Children I shall warm the water and give it to you Look Ramesh I have this wooden spoon steel spoon this pair of scissors this plastic scale and this ceramic spoon come let us dip all of them in this hot water Look Ravi this steel spoon has become so hot and this wooden spoon plastic spoon and ceramic spoon haven't become hot This pair of scissors made of iron has become so hot Yes Ramesh I have also noticed that when we play on the slides in the park the slide made of iron becomes so hot So it means that some materials like wood plastic etc do not let heat pass through it and materials like steel iron allow heat to pass through them Good observation children 
the materials which let heat pass through them are good conductors of heat and are known as conductors the objects which do not allow transfer of heat are poor conductors of heat and are known as insulators oh that is the reason a few utensils have plastic handles because if the utensil contains something hot the heat does not transfer to the handle and we do not burn our fingers yes you are right the sun also gives so much of heat and because of that the air and water in rivers and sea becomes hot so are air and water conductors or insulators friends we learned that heat is transferred from a hot to a cold object the materials which let heat pass through them are known as conductors and the materials which do not allow heat to pass through them are known as insulators ravi asked a question what could be the answer to that are air and water conductors or insulators we shall look for the answer to this in the next video we shall meet soon Thank <laughs> you.